Political parties have rejected the conclusions of the Inter-Malian dialogue, describing it as a gross political trap. On May 10th, the final recommendations of this initiative, launched by the president of the transition, Colonel Atimi Goita, were published, containing no less than 300 recommendations, including the extension of the transition period from two to five years. In a press release issued on May 12th, the political parties of the March 31st declaration, which include most of Mali's political parties of all persuasions, firmly rejected the conclusions of the dialogue, arguing that Malians had been misled. They point out that the dialogue did not lead to a Malian peace and reconciliation initiative, contrary to its original objective, which was to replace the 2015 peace agreement negotiated under international mediation. The political parties accused the transitional authorities of diverting the dialogue from its objectives, in particular by proposing to extend the transition from two to five years, which they say confirms an open-ended transition, and by ignoring the basic needs of Malians, such as water, electricity, and public freedoms. The Malian political parties, whose activities were suspended last month, claim that the colonists who have been in power for four years are trying to maintain their grip on power by taking Mali and Malians hostage. They also point out that the participants in the dialogue represent only themselves, are not elected, and that their recommendations are not binding. They therefore call on Malian people to mobilize for a return to constitutional order according to a consensual timetable with a new institutional architecture.